it's shorter the better like i don't know maybe that's why my hair was short for so many years this wig has got me feeling so damn bougie um excuse me but i don't like tea bags in my tea um excuse me but i don't drink creamer in my coffee um, excuse me, but I drink my brandy straight. You could go outside with just a G-string and your titty just hanging and slanging and run up the block streaking and you gonna feel like a classy ass because of this wig right here. Oh my God. You can't play with me, boo. No. This was $29.99, but it don't look like that. It was $299.99. channel y'all so y'all see me wearing this cute little number right here i'm gonna get into the specs on it and let you know if it's worth your money or not okay sometimes look could be deceiving it could be excuse wanna be but it might not be that great but it could be that great who would know watch the video and let's find out i'm gonna be trying out a bob style okay it's the mlf 136 genre the color is ct43427 which is like a brownish color this is from bobby boss it's a swiss lace with a five inch deep part Premium heat fiber, safe heat styling, so that's cool. It also has a bunch of available colors, 1B, 2, 3, teal, green. All right, the purple, they got a whole lot of colors in the style, but I'm just gonna say Yara itself just has like a whole bunch of different kind of styles, okay? You got Yara long, you got liner, you got Yara sleek, which I probably should've got because I love me some sleek stuff, okay? It just goes on and on. If you turn it around, there's some more Yara styles. All right, so this is my Yara straight out of the package. First of all, I'm just gonna say, I am super excited to have it. I love me some Bob hairstyles back then, like in 2000 something, like way back. I remember when Quick Weaves was like the go-to and I would do Doobie, like Doobie, it came already set for you. You put it in, you got a Bob, you don't have to cut it or nothing. That used to be my, sh I love long hair, but something about a Bob is just sexy, classy, and easy to deal with. Anyways, let's talk about this color, all right? So, as you can see, up under it, we have, like, that nice blonde color up under there. And then you have, like, this reddish copper brown right on top. So, I think that's really, really dope. Because, honestly, I thought it was just this one color right here that you see mainly in the front. But being that we got, like, some tones going up in there, I'm excited. Now, the color, the way it gradually turns into brown from the black at the roots, I think that's ultra dope. Because I don't like it to just be straight up brown or blonde or something bright everywhere so this is pretty dope okay all right this is the construction of the wig we have two combs right here in the front not too close to the parting space which is cool this is the parting space you don't get the luxury of parting everywhere if the wig is so dope it just doesn't even matter this is the lace that we have here we're going to cut that off and then we also have a comb right here in the back in the nape area with some adjustable straps so from looking at it already i'm just going to say she's very very soft it is extremely soft, okay? She's not getting nappy. I mean, it's short. If she's getting that nappy and she's short, I would be so upset because it's like, it's not that much hair to be getting tangled. But so far, it's really, really soft. I'm liking the texture of it. It's not yakky, but it's not like bone, bone straight or sleek either. So I can see why they made a Yara sleek because she's not sleek, sleek, sleek. But to be honest with you, I'm happy with it because it's not like thin and it's not too thick. It's like the perfect density. So let me throw her on my head really quick and we're gonna see what she's looking like, okay? Especially if I'm using like a sleek style. So let's go ahead. It'd be crazy if it start melting. I would be so upset. Like, oh my gosh, I wasted my money. Mmm, you see the difference already? Let me do that side. Oh, yeah. 
let's get started on this wig, all right? So, first off, I already said when she came out the package, the color was cute. I love how you get that little blonde in the back. You know what I'm saying? Got a little blonde up under there in the back. That is so cute to me. I love that she has three different shades, and I love how it blends so seamlessly into the brown from the black. That is a plus for me, okay? What I would say, let me just get my two cons out the way because I love her so much. Let me just get the bad stuff out the way so we can get on to the good stuff. Now, two things that was wrong, and it was with the lace. Number one, the lace, when I cut it off, it kept flipping up under the wig. Very weird. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? So I ended up having to reflip it. Hold it with my hand to get the comb in. I don't know what that's about. It could be the size of my head because I have a big ass head and I had to basically like stretch the wig. It was probably just big headness problems. <laughs> the second problem with the lace, it wasn't really a problem, but the knots were really like showing. Like you could see the black knots. I don't like to see black knots in my part, but it didn't matter because I was gonna put some powder in it anyway, but I added some powder and it kind of fixed it. I mean, you could kind of see like the large holes in the lace or whatever, but at the end of the day, it's not that bad. And because the wig is so pretty, it don't even matter. Now let's talk about the overall style of the wig. I think the style of the wig is absolutely pretty. The cut is beautiful. It's not too long and it's not too short. I love that it's straight because sometimes we think of Bob like back in the days, you got a little bump. I don't need no bump. She's moving and everything. The hair is really, 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 really soft. Like it does not get nappy. Like you can start from here and just go all the way down and I don't get not, not one knot. If it didn't have that kind of sheen that it has at the front, not that it's too, too shiny for me. If this is a bit too shiny for you, then go ahead and add some powder for me. It's not that serious. It doesn't look all that shiny, but if it wasn't as shiny as it is, I could get away with saying that it's a human hair. You know what I'm saying? I'll go around be like, no girl, I paid $200 for this unit. But little do I know, I paid $29.99, y'all, off of Amazon Prime. I'll put the link in the description box below from where I got it from. If you have Prime, it's $29.99. It came in two days. You know how that goes. As far as um, the shedding goes, very minimum. It's not a lot of shedding. The most shedding I got was when I cut the lace off. When I cut the lace off, it was some shedding or whatever, but it's not that bad like and to be honest with you the hair doesn't get tangled and it's so soft it's like it shouldn't shed especially if you're not touching it or combing it like you don't really need to do much combing and shit to it because oh excuse my language because it's just not that nappy it's not i have a potty mouth all day every day i try to compose it for youtube because i don't know who's watching some people don't want to hear like crap but yeah she is big hair friendly so if you got a big ass head like me a big sponge shaped head we good to go, sis. We can wear Yara. Well, at least this unit. I don't know about the other ones. But she does go from ear to ear. Um, So the lace came from here and it came all the way over here. However, it may look like it's a bit small because it's a bit back there. It's not because I don't know if you realize it, but when I was cutting the lace, um, the way it was shaped is kind of like this. So it kind of dips back in this area here. I can put her up technically. I can get her up there. But then like the part is going to be like way on my forehead. That just looks weird as hell. Actually, nah, that looks weird. Don't let me try to think of the cute Sandra. Chill. And last but not least, she is beginner friendly. And she is definitely a plop and go. If you're looking for a wig for like everyday wear or something like that, she is it. Because literally all you have to do is cut off the lace. I did a little bit more. You a one step kind of girl or three step kind of girl. I'm a three stepper. I mean, I could cut the lace and you could get away with it. But if you cut the lace, add a little bit of powder that blends to your skin a little bit, and then you add a little bit of heat on the part, just get a little bit more flat. Just a little more flat. You're gonna be bomb as hell. But anyways, um, yeah, overall, this wig is a winner, okay? If I'm gonna give her a rating out of a one through 10, I'm gonna give her a 9.5. The only thing I had problems with was the lace. Wasn't that big of a tail, but it was just annoying. Like, you don't wanna have annoying ass legs. Like, what the hell? Smart wear. I mean, if we shifted her to the side, this is what she would look like. I mean, if you that type that go for that Mary J. Blige back in the days kind of look when she had that bob with the shortcut on one side, you could go ahead and do this. Actually, this is kind of cute though. Huh? <laughs> I mean, so yeah, she's gonna be worn all week, okay? This is gonna be my wig for the whole work week. They're gonna be like, damn, did she just have some different hair last week? Yes, it's, it's cold wigs. It's cold wigs. Get with it or get go. Let me know if you want me to try a different Yara and a different color. Let me know. I'll be glad to review it because I am happy with this Yara, so I'm pretty sure another Yara better be bomb. It better, okay? But if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so. I'm going to let you guys go now because I'm rambling. It's all about excitement, y'all. I love this wig. I feel so cute. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.